Call Forward Selective is another great feature on BizPhone. It lets you forward calls to another number based on specific criteria that you set. For example, during out of office hours. These next two videos will show you how to set up time and holiday schedules, as well as how to set up, manage, and activate Call Forward Selective. Before you can activate Call Forward Selective, you'll need to set up your schedules and events. BizPhone schedules and events are used for more than just Call Forward Selective. You can also apply schedules to features like simultaneous and sequential ring, priority alert, and call notify. You can even use schedules along with multiple hunt groups or auto attendants if you want your incoming calls to be handled by different teams or menus depending on the time, day, week, or more. To create a schedule or event, you'll need to log into Frontier on your browser as a BizPhone administrator. At the top of the screen, click on the drop-down arrow next to Schedules and Events. If you have any existing schedules or events, you'll see them at the bottom of this section under Current Schedules. Otherwise, you'll just see the Create Schedules section. Firstly, you'll want to name your schedule. In this case, we want to set up an after-hours schedule, so that's what we'll name it. Next, you'll select the schedule type. You can choose from holiday or time-based schedules. Holiday schedules are perfect if you plan to be away from your phone for a number of days or weeks, while time schedules are what you'd use if you wanted to set up a regular schedule, generally for hours in a day. In this case, we'll select time and click save. After the page refreshes and you see the confirmation message at the top of the screen, navigate back to schedules and events. You'll see your newly created schedule in the current schedule section. Now, we'll click on the drop-down next to the schedule name. In the drop-down that appears, click on the create event button. Next, you'll fill in the details for the event the schedule will run on. You'll start with the event name and then the start and end dates including whether you want it to be an all-day event or not. It's important to note the start and end dates are linked to the start and end times further below. The start and end dates don't necessarily mean when the schedule will completely stop, as that's covered further below in another option. Instead, start and end date is used to select whether the start and end times are on the same day or not. In this case, we want to set an after-hours schedule that runs overnight every Monday to Friday. So we'll set a start date of February 20 and an end date of February 21. Now, we'll set the start and end time. As this is an after-hours schedule, we want it to start at 5pm on one day and then end at 8.30am the next day. That's why we set the start and end dates as being one day apart, since they're linked to the start and end times. If you were instead creating, for example, a working hours schedule, you'd set the start and end dates as the same day, and then the times as beginning at 8.30 a.m. and ending at 5 p.m. Now, you'll select the recurrence pattern, choosing from never, daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly. In this case, we'll select weekly and then select the recurring interval every one week, as well as the days we want the schedule to repeat itself. In this case, Monday to Friday. Finally, you have an option of setting the recurrence end date. This is the option we spoke about before, which sets the date you actually want the entire schedule to end. Then, we'll hit save. Another example would be if you wanted a schedule to run over the weekend for a business that's open on Saturday until 4.30 p.m., closed all day Sunday, and then reopens at 8.30 a.m. on Monday. To do this, you'd set the start and end dates to be the next coming Saturday and Monday, 
and set the start and end times to four thirty pm and eight thirty am in that order remember these times are linked to the dates that you selected earlier next you'd set the recurrence pattern to be weekly and we'd only set the recurring interval as Saturday. Because we're asking the schedule to run from Saturday to Monday and for it to start all over again every Saturday. Then you'd set the recurrence end date if you wanted one and press save. You've now successfully created your schedules. In the next video, we'll walk you through how you can begin applying this schedule to a feature like call forward selective.